There's been a highly charged debate about the Chevy Volt and whether it truly is an all-electrically driven vehicle. GM has long said that the gas engine in the car is just there to recharge the battery, but it recently admitted that the engine does actually drive the wheels when the car is traveling over 70. Now, why do you care whether a car is a hybrid or fully electrically driven? Well, for starters, having a gas engine means that the Volt isn't limited by the range of its battery, which is only about 25 miles. You can keep it going after that with the engine driving generators that recharge the battery. The Nissan LEAF, on the other hand, has a 100-mile battery range, and then you have to stop and recharge it. There are financial implications as well. A car's power source affects its eligibility for tax credits and rebates. Because of the car's large battery, Volt owners can claim federal tax credits that knock $7,500 off the car's $41,000 sticker price. The Volt will also get most state tax credits for electric cars, but it will miss a five grand California rebate. And then there's gas mileage. GM originally said the Volt will get a whopping 230 miles to a gallon, thanks to its electric motor, but it had to retract that. A more realistic estimate is more like 37 or 38 MPG, less than today's hybrid Toyota Prius. But if you drive the Volt less than 25 miles and recharge the battery at night, you won't use any gas. That's infinite miles per gallon.